My name is George McClulis. I'm an ENT head and neck surgeon with a special interest in thyroid surgery. I work at One Hatfield Hospital. The thyroid hormone is responsible for the metabolism. There are two main problems that can occur with the thyroid gland. It has to do either with the function of the thyroid gland or the size. The function has to do primarily with the production of the thyroxine. This is usually dealt by a group of uh, doctors called the endocrinologists. And my job is, if I identify those patients, to refer them to see the endocrinologist. My main remit as an ENT head and neck thyroid surgeon is to deal with thyroid lumps. The majority of them are benign and they do not need any further treatment. But there is a minority of patients that they may have persistent lumps in their thyroids that may need surgery. That surgery will involve either removing part of the thyroid gland or the whole of the gland. The surgery is done by specialised surgeons, uh, usually surgeons that they are member of the British Association of Endocrine and Thyroid Surgeon, th Surgeons, which I'm a very active member of. Usually affects women and very rarely men. So the treatments when, when it comes to the function of the thyroid usually are administered by the endocrinologist and this is something that is not part of my day-to-day -day practice. What my practice involves is surgery of the thyroid gland. So treatments involve removing either part or the whole of the thyroid gland. When we remove the thyroid gland, there are some very important structures associated with the gland and we have to be very careful not to damage any of those structures. Any damage of the structures could cause in temporary or permanent damage to the function of the voice box. One of my main interests is making sure that this doesn't happen. At One Hatfield, we have the ability to use what we call a continuous intraoperative nerve monitoring. This is a device that we use that monitors the recurrent laryngeal nerve, which is the nerve that supplies the voice box, every two seconds during the operation. It reduces the possibility of damage to the nerve and gives much better outcomes to the patients. In my practice, I have a very low incident of damage to the recurrent laryngeal nerve, and I'm very proud of that. The surgery involves a general anaesthetic, and usually it takes between one and two hours. The patients will have to stay in the hospital overnight, and if all is well, we'll be able to go home the next morning. I suggest that the patients will need to take two weeks off work, although within 48 hours after the operation they can be mobile. I recommend that they should not take active exercise, but normal activities are quite acceptable. Very rarely if we remove one of the thyroid lobes, we may have to repeat the procedure to the other side. Patients usually have what we call unilateral or one-sided thyroid swellings. Rarely, there may be swelling on both sides or if we remove one side, then the other side may develop a problem. In, that, in those cases, we may have to repeat the procedure. Also, sometimes when we examine the thyroid swelling under the microscope, we may find that it involves thyroid cancer. In that case, we may have to repeat the procedure on the other side. The patients can be referred to me either directly by the general practitioner or by general physicians or endocrinologists that they are looking after patients with thyroid problems.